Pakistan Military Academy can take pride in its ability to train young men from diverse backgrounds into highly motivated and professionally competent military leaders, not only for the Pakistan Army, but for the armies of friendly countries as well. With over half a century of tradition of excellence, the Academy can boast of a comprehensive training and grooming system which ensures that young officers graduating from the Academy are fit to perform their primary role of commanding men with courage and honour in war and training them effectively in peace. Nestled in the foothills of Himalayas, the temperate climate and the picturesque surroundings of the Academy provide an ideal setting for a training routine that lays emphasis on building physical and mental toughness. The Academy is located at Kakul, Ebatabad. Established in late 1947 by Brigadier F. H. P. Ingall, a career British Indian Army officer who gave up a promising future in the British Army to undertake the challenge of setting up the Pakistan Military Academy. I've given many addresses from this position here uh, from 1948 on to 51. I was very keen on the question of Pakistan and believed in it. I believed what the Kaidiyazm preached. I believe in Islam. The Academy officially opened on the 20th of January 1948 with three courses. The Muslim cadets of the third IMA regular course from Indian Military Academy Dehradun along with the first PMA graduate course as a senior division and the first PMA long course forming the junior division. The academy was housed in the barracks of Royal Indian Army Supply Co. at Kakul. Under the able guidance of Brigadier Ingol, a motivated team of officers, junior commissioned officers and non-commissioned officers that formed the founding nucleus worked tirelessly with meager resources to lay the foundation of a superb training and grooming system that was complemented by an efficient administrative structure. Both have withstood the test of time admirably. The excellent traditions established by the founders are followed with pride even today. November 25th, 1948 will always remain a memorable day in the history of Pakistan Military Academy. On this day, Pakistan's second Governor General, Khwaja Nazimuddin, presented the Qaid Azam's banner to the 1st Pakistan Battalion on the occasion of the passing out parade of the first batch of officers from the Academy. From the hutments that first constituted the institution in 1948, the Academy has come a long way. It now has modern structures for housing and training the cadets. The lush green training grounds and sports fields add to the splendor of the surroundings. An exhaustive selection process ensures that those selected for training at the Pakistan Military Academy possess the necessary character, physical and mental attributes to undergo the rigors of an all-encompassing two years training program. On joining the Academy, the gentlemen cadets, as they are known, pass through a settling down phase during which they are provided the necessary guidance for a smooth induction in the institution and its systems. A trademark haircut is the first step in the initiation process. The cadets are also provided clothing and equipment for all types of activities that they would be required to undertake during their stay at the academy. The entire orientation process is supervised by a team of instructional and administrative staff and the senior cadets who make certain that the newcomers become familiar with the routine at the academy. The cadets are thoroughly briefed on the conduct expected of them during the training at the academy and as potential officers of the Pakistan Army. A commitment to dedicate themselves to the rules, 
instructions and code of conduct within the academy is also administered. The young entrants are also introduced to the discipline environment of the academy. The induction process helps ensure a smooth beginning to the formal training routine. For the purpose of training, the cadets are distributed into platoons and companies. The companies, all named after famous Muslim personalities, are further grouped into battalions, the oldest being the 1st Pakistan Battalion. Divided into four terms of six months each, the training system at the Pakistan Military Academy is wholesome, exposing the cadets to a wide range of subjects and activities. A cadet platoon is commanded by a platoon commander who is responsible for imparting all military instructions to the cadets. He also looks after their personality grooming, character building, training and discipline. For the cadets, the platoon commander epitomizes the ideal and often serves as a role model. Coordinating the activities of a term is the term commander. The platoon commander and the term commander are directly involved with all facets of training of cadets. Selected as the best from amongst their contemporaries, they have a tremendous responsibility and play a major role in grooming the young cadets. Every term commander also acts as a company commander of a company and in this capacity is responsible for all administrative matters of the company. While he remains an aloof figure for the cadets, yet the battalion commander has his fingers on the pulse of the battalion. His personality Direction and guidance are significant in the grooming of the cadets. He is responsible.